Have you been able to take a breath, Johnny, and say to yourself, this is my lifelong dream, and I've realized it? I think it's awesome to, to finally have, have walked across that stage and, and be selected in the first round of the NFL draft, just um, for me and, and where, I, where I came from and um, how rare that is, but how special it is to me and Tyler, Texas, and, and Kerrville, Texas, my hometowns. And, um, for me, it, it, it puts a smile on my face every time because it's, it's incredible. Yeah. And the flip side of it was you're sitting there and you drop down to 22 and you hear all the naysayers. What kind of extra motivation does that give you coming into the National Football League? I think for me, um, it could have gone an array of, of different ways and, and it went the way that it was supposed to. And um, for me, it didn't matter whether it was first pick of the draft or the last pick, I just wanted to play football somewhere. And um, I felt pretty confident that I would be selected somewhere in the draft. So um, that, that was my main thing. I wanted to be picked and wanted to find out where I would call home. And it, it didn't matter where it was. So um, what happened last night was, was what was meant to be. And it was great. And it was a great time for my family. I really enjoyed it. One of the things that Ray Farmer, the GM of the Browns, said to me was, Johnny's got that it factor. What does that mean to you? I mean, for me, I play the game with a lot of a lot of heart and a lot of passion that um, that that makes up for for some areas. I feel like whether um, I'm a little little on the shorter side or whatever it may be, I, I make up for it um, with how hard and, and how passionate I am about playing this game. Are you excited to play in Cleveland? Haven't won a championship since 1964. You want to bring that back here? Oh, that would be great. And, and for me, I know um, we're going in. And our main focus is try and, and make this this team better um, and try and win games and be successful and um, whatever happens from there everything else will sort itself out but um, really just come in and, and bring a winning attitude here and I think that starts with with Ray Farmer and, and uh, Mr. Haslam and everybody um, at the top of this at the top of this totem pole I feel like they want to win they want to do it in the right way and they want to do it now and I think you looked at what they did in, in free agency and now uh, moving forward into the draft they've they've made some some moves that um, directly correlate with with that goal. I love what you said about Brian Hoyer. He's my teammate now. But Brian Hoyer texted back to Ray Farmer, hey, bring on the competition. How do you react to that? Yeah, that's exactly what I would want in a, in a teammate. Um, guys, that guy's on our roster. That guy's going to be running out there um, on Sunday. So for me, I wouldn't expect anything, anything else, and I wouldn't want it any other way. So um, I, I love hearing that. And, and like I said, he is, he's a teammate of mine, um, and I'm looking forward to learning from him, a guy who had a lot of success. Um, last year until he was sidelined by an injury and I'm um, really just looking forward to being able to pick his brain and, and, and get to learn from him. It'll be great. But the it factor, the passion, the competitive spirit, you want to start in the NFL pretty quickly, don't you? For me, um, it's what's best for this team and that's, that's my main, main focus, my main goal. And whether that's me or, or whomever it may be, um, I want what's best for this team, and, and I think that'll that'll play itself out. You've been coached up to say that? No, not at all. I truly believe it. I truly believe it that um, they brought me here, obviously because um, they want me they want me to play quarterback. But at the end of the day, there's, there's, there will be a competition, and um, whatever happens uh, happens. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming in and learning and um, earning my respect just of these teammates and, and earning my How do you do that? How do you earn that respect, do you think? You come in, you don't, you don't talk about it. You come in and, and you work hard and um, show these guys you're dedicated to, to the profession of being a football player. Yeah, you saw all those lights and all those cameras and all those reporters. They're going to be here all the time. How do you set that aside and focus on football and your team? I just keep the main thing the main thing, and that's that's football, and that's becoming a better football player for me. So everything outside of that, the distractions, whatever it may be, that's that's not going to get to me right now, especially with how hungry I am and how how eager I am to to get back to playing football.